Welcome everyone. Today we are going to see about the Gromax tutorial. That is simulation of protein in water. For the protein we are going to use the human insulin. In the human insulin we are going to take only the chain A. Because it contains very few number of amino acids, we can do some 100 picosecond simulation using the Gromax. So we need the MDP files. These are all the MDP files we need. First we are going to see the contents of these MDP files. First we are going to see the ions.mdp file. This is the ions.mdp file. I am going to zoom in. So all these MDP files are used as the input for the grow MPP command to generate the TPR file. TPR is a binary file okay this is the binary file this binary file is executed to get the desired output and these mdp files will contain different parameters and this is the ions.mdp file the integrator is the steepest descent algorithm and after the system reach the thousand kilojoules per mole then the minimization will stop okay and the number of steps it will perform is 50,000 and it will perform 50,000 steps to perform the minimization and this is the cutoff scheme verlet cutoff scheme and the column type is the cutoff okay for all the other mdp files the column type is presented as the pme that is the particle mesh evolved this column type is used in the treatment of long range electrostatic interactions and you can check the periodic boundary conditions also that is provided as the xyz three coordinates is used as the periodic boundary conditions so next we are going to see the minimization.mdp file we are going to close this this is the minimization mdp file that is energy minimization This minimization MDP file is used as the input for the grow MPP command to generate the em.tpr file that is the binary file and the integrator using is the steepest descent algorithm and the usual 1000 kilojoules per mole and it will perform 50,000 steps and the cutoff scheme is the verlet cutoff scheme and the column type is the PME that is the particle mesh evolved and the periodic boundary conditions also set as x or z that's all in this minimization mdp file next we are going to see the nvt.mdp file this is the nvt.mdp file here you can give the title you can give any title and run parameters are the first is the integrator the integrator is the leap frog integrator that is md and the number of steps it will perform is the 50,000 steps. You have to multiply this number of steps by 2. Okay. After multiplying, each step corresponds to 1 femtosecond. In this case, 50,000 multiplied by 2 gives 1 lakh. That is 1 lakh steps. Each step corresponds to 1 femtoseconds. So, 1 lakh steps corresponds to 1 lakh femtoseconds. And 1 lakh femtoseconds is equal to 100 picoseconds. So that is the calculation. Then output control. It will save the coordinates, velocities, energies and log file every 500 steps or every 1 picosecond. So the simulation is going to run for 100 picoseconds. And the coordinates are saved every 1 picoseconds. So we get 100 frames in this NVT equilibration and these are the bond parameters neighbor searching the same cutoff scheme okay and the column type pme and the temperature coupling is set as on and the temperature coupling groups that is the tc groups is set between the protein and non-protein part and these are the tau t value that is in the picoseconds and a reference t value that is in the kelvin and pressure coupling is off 
since this is nvt equilibration the pressure coupling is set as off and the periodic boundary conditions is also set as xyz so next we are going to see the npt.mdb file this is the npt.mdb file as usual you can provide the title and run parameters the integrator is the md that is the leapfrog integrator and number of steps is the 50,000 steps that corresponds to 100 picoseconds and output control every 500 steps it will save the coordinates velocities energies and a log file that is every 1 picosecond it will save all these parameters so that you will get 100 frames every 1 picosecond you will get 1 frame since it is running for 100 picoseconds you will get 100 frames then these are the bond parameters non bonded settings and the electrostatics and temperature coupling and pressure coupling and the periodic boundary conditions so this is the npt.mdb file next is the md.mdb file here you can give the title that is production md run and run parameters are the md that is integrator we are using is the md and that is the leapfrog integrator and the number of steps is 50,000 this is the production md run here you can either increase the number of steps or you can decrease the number of steps also i am using only 100 picoseconds because it will complete uh, faster for output control we are providing zero because it suppresses the bulky trr file that is the bulky binary file okay and it will save the energies and the log file every one picoseconds in the compressed format okay then the bounded parameters and the neighbor searching electrostatics temperature coupling and the pressure coupling and the periodic boundary conditions are also set that's all in this uh, md.mdp file now we are going to run the protein in water simulation next we are going for the simulation first i am going to open the jupyter notebook if you don't have the jupyter notebook that is not a problem you can run these commands in the terminal itself first i am going to the folder where all the mdp files and the jupyter notebook file is present protein only this is the folder this is the folder where we have all the mdp files and the jupyter notebook files also so first this is the protein file and this is the jupyter notebook file open this jupyter notebook file if you don't have jupyter notebook then that's not a problem you can run these commands in the terminal itself first i'm going to clear the outputs these are the some of the import required to make the graph okay graphs and visualizations now we are going to remove the head atom records from the pdb file and we are going to save in the protein clean dot pdb because pdp to gmx command takes only the protein file which contain the standard amino acid residues so you have to check the protein file and it should contain only the standard amino acid residues other than standard amino acid residues if your protein gas other than standard amino acid residues it will give an error so remove the non-standard residues run this command by clicking shift enter by pressing the shift enter next step is to generate the topology file to generate the topology give this command gmx pdb to gmx minus f minus f protein clean dot pdb that is from the previous step minus o protein processed dot gro and minus water spce and minus ff is the force field 
for the force field i am going to use the hamber 99 sb force field if you want to run this command in the terminal you no need to provide the exclamation mark if you want to run the terminal commands in the jupyter notebook you have to provide the exclamation mark before the command okay so now execute this command now you can see this there are one chain okay and there are uh, one chain and 21 amino acid residues and glycine is the starting residue and asn21 is the ending residue and this command is completed okay and writing topology and the total charge is negative 2 which means we have uh, the charge of minus 2 okay we have to neutralize this charge in the adding ions step and the writing topology is done and this command is successfully completed now you can see this folder refresh this folder okay refresh this folder to get the files now you can see the topol.top file protein clean.pdb file and a protein processed.gro file and you will also get the itp file also this is the itp file and this is the topol.top file now get back to the jupyter notebook you can view the last few lines of the topol.top file here you can see the itp file and protein chain a okay and the protein is present and this is the protein chain a now next step is to create the box and add water in the box that is create a box vectors and uh, solve it the box for that use this command gmx edit conf minus f protein processed dot gro that is in the previous step this file is from the previous step and minus o that is output that is a protein box dot gro this file will contain the protein along with the box vectors minus c that is for center the molecule in the box and minus d that is distance from the box edge to the molecule that is i have specified one armstrong and minus bt that is the box type i have specified the dodecahedron shape now execute this command now you can see this output this is the new center new center and box vectors box angles that is 60 60 and 90 degrees and this is the new box volume that is the 72 nanometers cube now we have created the box successfully we have to fill that box with the solvents now we have we are using the water as the solvent use this command gmx solvate minus cp that is the protein configuration protein box dot gro and solute configuration cs that is the spc 216 dot gro and minus o protein solvated gro and minus p topol dot top file with this command we are going to update the topology file also now enter this cell after executing this is the output okay now you can see the volume of the box is 72 nanometers cube and density 988 grams per liter 
and the number of solvent molecules is 2246 note down this number of solvent molecules 2246 adding lines for 2246 solvent molecules in the topology file and the previous topology file is backed up in this name topol.top one hash next step is to adding the ions first we are going to generate the ions.tpr file and we are going to pass this ions.tpr file into the gen ion command to generate the ions this ions.tpr is a binary file using this binary file this gen ion is used to add the ions to the system first I give this command gmx grow mpp minus f ions.mdp this file we have seen at the starting and minus c protein solvated dot grow minus p topol dot top to update the topology file and minus o ions dot tpr this is the binary file we are getting as an output now execute this command now execute this command after executing you can see this the tpr file is uh, successfully generated there were no errors and next we are using the tpr file to generate the ions for that give this command gmx gen ion minus s ions dot tpr that we have generated in the previous command minus o that is the protein solvated ions dot grow that is the output file we are getting from this command and minus p topology file topol dot top to update this topology and minus p name is the positive ion name minus n name is the negative ion name that is the sodium and chloride respectively to neutralize the system give the neutral flag and execute this command after executing you can see this if you run this command in the terminal you have to provide the group number 13 that is the solvent molecule because the solvent molecules is replaced by the required number of ions to neutralize the system okay now this command has replaced two solute molecules in the topology file that is by adding the two sodium ions and zero chloride ions and you can see the topology dot top file also at the end of the topology file you can find the two sodium ions are added and 2244 solvent molecules are present which means two water molecules are replaced by two sodium ions okay next step is the energy minimization step in the energy minimization step we are going to generate the em.tpr file using the minim.mdp file this em.tpr is a binary file we are using this binary file in the next command gmx md run after uh, the energy minimization we will generate the potential graph okay and we see the potential graph in this energy minimization step so to so the first command is the gmx grow mpp minus f minim dot mdp that we have seen at the start and minus c protein solvated ions dot grow that is from the previous command output and minus p to update the topology file and minus o that is the output file em.tpr now you can see this is the obsolete entry ns type this entry is not needed in the mdp file 
and ns type is also not needed in the mdp file now the command is completed and the tpr file is generated now give this command gmx md run minus v for the verbose and minus def nm which means the default name we are giving as em because the output files generated from this command will have the default name of em and the number of threads we are providing is eight because my system has eight threads execute this command now you can see the energy minimization is completed the system converged to the fmax less than 1000 kilojoules in 244 steps you can see the potential energy maximum force also now we need to generate the potential energy graph for this system so give this command gmx energy minus f em dot edr the em.mdr file is generated in the previous command minus o potential.xvg this is the output file we are getting from this command if you run this command in the terminal you should select the option number 10 because option number 10 is the potential now the potential.xvg file is written okay this is the matplotlib and if you have xm grace or qt grace you can plot the xvg file into the graph now i am using the matplotlib to plot the potential now you can see the potential okay is converging down so this is used to plot the graph in the Jupyter notebook that is we are using the matplotlib library you can use the xm grace also or you can use the qt grace also this is the potential.xvg file that we have generated now okay so next we have completed the energy minimization now we are going to perform the nvt step so for performing the nvt equilibration first you have to review the number of steps and the output control in the mdp file so that we have done earlier so give this command grow mpp minus f npt minus f nvt dot mdp that is the mdp file minus c em dot gro that is present that is uh, em dot gro that is the output of the previous command minus or em dot gro that is also the same file minus p topol dot top so this is used to update the topology file and minus o nvt dot tpr this is the tpr file this is the binary file output so run this command so these are the absolute entries okay these are the absolute mdp entries that is not needed So the TPR file is generated. Now run this command to perform the NVT equilibration. GMX MD run minus V that is for verbose and def num that is default name NVT that is the output of these uh, commands. The files generated from this command will have the prefix NVT. So that's why we are using the def num parameter and an nt that is the number of threads number of threads i am presenting as 8 so now the command is running let's see that 
Now 50,000 steps that is uh, running, 50,000 steps that corresponds to 100 picoseconds. Now it is completed 20,000 steps. We are going to wait uh, till the NVT equilibration is completed. This is the command we have. Uh, this is the command we have run. Now it is going to complete. Now the NVT is completed. Okay. Now sometimes uh, now we are going to get the temperature dot xvg file. That is the temperature graph. Now we are going to get the temperature graph from this NVT equilibration. For that, give this command gmx energy minus cf nvt dot edr that is generated from the previous command and minus o temperature dot xvg okay if you run this command in the terminal you have to provide the option number as 15 okay this is the option number 15 the option number 15 is the temperature and the temperature dot xvg file is saved okay you can see that temperature.xvg file now run this line of code now using the matplotlib plot the temperature.xvg file now if you have the qt grace or xm grace you can do that as well this is the temperature and then this is the number of steps okay next axis we have the number of steps okay that is we have 100 picoseconds every picoseconds we have saved the temperature every picosecond we saved the temperature and we have run up to 100 picoseconds on the temperature you can see this it is fluctuating from uh, the maximum is uh, 307 and uh, very minimum is the 290 kelvin you can also increase the number of steps or the nvt time also Next, to perform the NPT equilibration. So, to perform the NPT equilibration, first I generate the NPT.tpr and I use this tpr file in this command gmxmd run and I save the pressure.xvg file and density.xvg file and plot them. So, give this command gmx grow mpp minus cf npt dot mdp that is we have uh, reviewed in this dot that is we have viewed in this dot minus c nvt dot gro that is we have generated in the nvt equilibration step and minus r nvt dot gro that is also generated in the previous step and minus t nvt dot cpt this is the checkpoint file created in the previous step and minus p topol dot top to update the top topology and minus 4 npt dot tpr this is the binary file so run this command the tpr file is uh, generated successfully okay now run this command gmx md run minus v that is verbose and defnm npt so the output so the output files generated in this command will have the name npt okay and the nt is 8 number of threads is 8 and run this command now the npt equilibration is running that is the 50,000 steps 
that corresponds to 100 picoseconds. Now almost 10,000 steps are over. If this step is interrupted, you can run this command gmxmd run minus v minus defnm npt and minus cpa npt dot cpt. You can provide this checkpoint file to continue the md run also. Okay. Now it is completed almost 40,000 steps. Now it is completed. Okay. Now we are going to save the pressure.xvg file. Now we are going to save the pressure graph and the density graph. So to save the pressure, give this command gmx energy minus f npt dot edr. That is generated in the previous command and minus o pressure.xvg. Npt dot edr file is generated in the npt equilibration step. Now run this command. See the number is 17. If you run this command in the terminal, you have to provide the number 17. The number 17 is is pressure. Okay. Or you can provide the number 18 also. This is also pressure. and there are 100 frames or uh, red last energy frame red is 100 time that is 100th frame and you can plot this pressure dot xvg file you can use the xm grace or qt grace also so you can see this uh, pressure graph okay in x axis we have the number of steps that is up to 100 picoseconds every picoseconds the pressure is saved and it is extended up to 100 picoseconds and in the y axis you have the pressure okay you can see this unit of the pressure in the mdp file next generate the density file to generate the density give this command gmx energy minus f npt dot edr this is also generated in the npt equilibration minus o density dot xvg run this command now density dot xvg file is created if you run this if you run this command in the terminal you have to provide the number 24 for the density see this is the number 24 that is corresponds to density and 100 frames are red Okay, and the density.xvg file is saved. Now plot this file using the matplotlib. You can use the XM grace or the QT grace also. Similar to other graphs, you have in the x-axis number of steps that is uh, 100 picoseconds. Every picoseconds the density is saved and it is plotted for 100 picoseconds. Now no need to perform the position restant minimization. I'm going to skip this. Okay. Now we are going to perform the equilibration molecular dynamics. That is the production MD run. For this also we are going to use number of uh, steps as 50,000 and 100 picoseconds. So give this command gmx grow mpp minus f md dot mdp file. 
so that is we have uh, seen in the start and minus c that is we are going to continue from the npt equilibration okay that is this is the output of the previous command npt dot gro minus t that is a checkpoint file that is npt dot cpt this is also generated in the previous command npt equilibration and minus p topol dot top that is the topology file and minus o md dot tpr file this is the binary file so run this command and this is successfully completed and uh, finally this is the production md run gmx md run minus v that is for verbose and defnm and defnm that is default name the output files the output files from this command will be saved with the prefix md and minus nt that is 8 that is number of threads so the command is now running you can see this so we are using the 50,000 steps and uh, that corresponds to 100 picoseconds now it is completed almost uh, 20,000 steps now it is going to complete so the production md run is completed so if md run is interrupted you can give this command you can give this flag minus cpi md dot cpt to continue from the previous checkpoint so we have completed till the production md run okay so we have generated this much amount of data and we have the trajectory file and we have the md.xtc file this is the trajectory file and this is the md.xtc file this is the trajectory file but this trajectory file is uncorrected trajectory file you have to convert to the md corrected trajectory file you have to correct this trajectory file then only we can analyze the results you can analyze the results after correcting this trajectory file okay you only need to correct the final trajectory file that is generated from this command you only need to correct the trajectory files that is generated from the production md run so this is the production md run that we have completed so you correct the trajectory file of the md.xtc so to correct the trajectory give this command gmx trajconv minus s yes, md.tpr 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 is generated from the previous command that is the binary file okay and minus cf this is the input file md.xtc you give the trajectory file that you got from the production md run only don't give the trajectory file from the npt or nvt file okay and you can give this and you can give the flags center and compact and periodic boundary conditions molecule and output is the md corrected trajectory file okay and I run this command if you run this command in the terminal give this option protein under system also okay this is the protein and this is the system after correction you see the hundred frames are read and you can visualize the trajectories from this uh, command vmd md.gro and md.corrected.xtc using this command you can view the trajectories now we are going to see the trajectories so this is the md.corrected.xtc file this is the corrected xtc file this is the uncorrected trajectory file so to view the trajectory file first you need to load the initial molecule that is the md.gro
first load this md.gro file this is the initial file okay you can use the you can use the vmd or pymol also this is the initial md.gro file okay and you can you should load the trajectory file first we are going to see the uncorrected trajectory file that is the md.xtc just drag this into this pymol and that is the molecular object you can select the md and click on load trajectory so this is the uncorrected trajectory okay so this is the uncorrected trajectory file okay you see this different lines we are not going to use this uncorrected trajectory file now we are going to see the corrected trajectory file for that first to open the md.grow file using the pymol and this is the initial structure this is the md.grow file okay and now you can load the corrected trajectory file this is the corrected trajectory file just drag this and drop in the pymol and you can load the trajectory you can load this okay now you can see this is the corrected trajectory file this is in the dodecahedron shape and you can play the uh, now in the right side you can see there are 100 frames and you can play this to get the visualization okay this is uh, 100 frames you can see at the bottom So now we have completed 100 picosecond simulation of the insulin chain A. Okay. So you can see this sodium ion moving between the periodic boundary conditions. Moving between this, it is entering and exiting from the different sites. So that's all for visualization. Now we go to the analysis we can check the rms okay to check the rms give this command gmx rms minus s md dot tpr file md dot tpr is generated from the production md run and minus f that is the md corrected trajectory file okay md corrected dot xtc and minus o outputs that is the rmst dot xvg run this command If you run this command in the terminal, you should give the protein for the first group and you should give the protein for the second group also to get the RMST between these two groups. See this is the protein that is group 1 and select a group for RMST calculation. You should also select this for protein and after selecting you will get the rmst.xvg file rmst.xvg file this is the rmst.xvg file and you can plot this xvg file okay using the matplotlib and you can plot the rmst using the matplotlib or you can do it with the xm grace or qt grace etc so now you can see the rmst is not constant okay it is varying from uh, 0 0.075 to 0 0.2 okay so this is the rmst graph if you increase the number of steps from uh, 100 picoseconds to um, some nanoseconds you will get a better rmst okay at the constant value also it is fluctuating around uh, 20 to 40 and it is also fluctuating uh, more than 80 nanoseconds you should increase the time period of the simulation 
okay so that's all so that's all mm, this is the simulation of the protein in water you can use uh, proteins other than this also okay and thank you for watching if you have any doubts post in the comment section if you like this video give a like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching